Welcome back to Circumnavigation. We're about 42 hours in and here's the state of the game. Right now, me and my teammate Joseph from Real Life Floor are on a flight to Singapore with our ticket to Seoul already booked. The problem is we only have $20 and we need to make enough money to take a super expensive flight from Seoul to the US before we can get on our flight to Seoul. Our plan once we land is to earn $1,200 by bungee jumping in Singapore during the few hours we'll have before the game's mandatory rest period begins. Unfortunately for us, Ben and Adam had the same idea. Okay, maybe a bit more. All right, hands up to the side, brother. Are you good, Don? Here we go, buddy. This is it. Look forward, in forward. All right, here we go. In five, four, three, two, and five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Ah! One, push it up. That woke me up. In case anyone was wondering, bungee jumping is way scarier so than it looks. So scary. I thought, it's... I thought it was gonna be very scary, and it was five times scarier than I expected. Money in the bank. Oh my god, that is the most deserved twelve hundred dollars we've ever gotten. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we've made it to Singapore. Yep, we're back. Which, which is the good news. The bad news is you saw the text, right? I do, yeah. Okay, so the bad news is that Adam and Ben completed the bungee jumping challenge, and that was kind of our whole ploy. So I don't know what else can we do before the rest period. I don't know. I mean, I, I looked, and like everything, like the two other big ones, Universal and Paintball. Yeah, there's no way we could do that. They both require reservations. They stopped doing challenges around like 11 or 12 a.m. Central European time. There was a 1 p.m. flight to Singapore from Milan, where we think they were. So you think there's maybe a good possibility that they're here with us or will be here with us for the rest I, of the period? I, there, there's also very few cities where you can bungee jump. Yeah. Like that easily. So you think they may have done the literally what we were going to do? I think there's a very real chance they're here, which means like the challenges that are easy for us are gonna be easy for them. We could definitely earn some more money. Hey, those people are kayaking. Oh, oh, those are they? people are kayaking. We're gonna see if we can figure out where that person got that kayak. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the kayak. All right. Let's go. Here we go. Let's do it. Okay. So we have to go one mile. Easy. Yeah. Honestly, not having that bungee jump one, that makes me pretty nervous. Uh, that makes me pretty nervous about being able to get out of here. I mean, we're definitely going to be able to get to Soul Stones. We have the flights. To Seoul, but then we need something but out getting, of Seoul. I know, getting out of Seoul is the, the hard part. Start, starting to think is like, what we learned in Amsterdam is planning really counts here. Yeah. We're not allowed to plan or research or anything during our rest period. Yeah. So maybe the best use of the next two hours rather than scrambling and failing is like meticulously planning what we do after the rest period. Okay, I, I agree. All right, well, totally. I guess uh, I guess we're gonna uh, head to our hotel and do some plotting. Do some plotting and some rest. Yes, finally. Oh my yeah. god. Almost 48 hours of being on the move continuously. <laughs> You know, you're sitting at a computer and you're writing challenges and you're like, it can't be that hard to kayak a mile. But then you're in the kayak in Singapore. It turns out it's harder than you thought it would be. I remember this exact conversation. I remember we said, how, how far should it be? A mile? Yeah, sure, all right. And then we never talked about it again. That sure is a lot of water That's falling. A big fountain. Getting a taxi slash Uber is taking forever, so it makes me think we made the right call in terms of not rushing to try to do something. Feels like we should like sing a song, like a sailing song. Yeah, do you know any sailing songs? I don't know. Do we know any sailing songs? Uh, a, like a, like a sailing B, C, D. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. I don't remember the second half of that song. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily. 
Oh, it's got the, the Marilies. Oh, 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 your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Okay, what are you, you, you gotta do? What are you doing? Well, I don't know the words yet. There, there's two, there's two lines in the song. Is there not more to the song? No! The oh, ship we sail is oh, a kayak, oh, it's a kayak that oh, we oh, wish in here. Head. All right. That is a mile on water under human power. That is, uh, what, $350 for us? In the bank. Let's go. Great, we made it to our hotel. Yeah, this is the last you'll hear from us for 20 hours. We're exhausted. We're gonna be very excited to go do nothing for 20 hours. Hell yeah. How you doing, buddy? So sleepy. Okay, we uh, just arrived at the hotel. The break period is starting. I've never been more excited to take a shower in my entire life. It's uh, it's truly the most wonderful time of the year. Okay, so for the next 20 hours, the game is paused. That means no forward progress, no challenges, and no strategy talk. All we're supposed to do is get a relaxing night of sleep in an actual bed. It's about 4 a.m. and I've just awoken from a nightmare where Sam and Joseph beat us in the race before we could even get to Australia. So hopefully that won't happen in real life. It is 4 a.m. I've been trying to get back to sleep for like an hour or two now. Failed completely. So I've decided to wander the streets towards a 24-hour coffee shop and then explore Singapore. At the coolest it is ever in the day. It is 84 degrees out, it's humid, it is hot, and it's 4 a.m. This is unbelievable. I don't know how people live here, and I especially don't know how we're gonna run through the streets completing challenges tomorrow. This view really tells you what Singapore's economy is all about. See, uh, bank, 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 not bank, bank, and then a fancy hotel. All right, we're having some uh, dim sum for breakfast. Happy breakfast, Adam. Good morning. Good morning. It's a mixture of uh, pastries and, I guess, pastries. <laughs> what round of food is this, Joseph? It's only our number two. So it's still the rest period, but the hotel kicked us out at one. The game restarts at three. Just walking around, just seeing the sights. We're at the big, the, the only thing that I knew about Singapore before coming here is the thing we're going to go see. You have anything funny to say, Ben? No, I just think those are really cool. Anything funny to say about this? No. But I have a fun Singapore fact. Okay. You know that it's illegal to eat a durian fruit on the subway here? It's not relevant to this, I just thought of it. <laughs> thought that was interesting. Perfect content, Ben. Yeah. It is two minutes to three. We're almost back at it. Now comes the stage in the game where for some stupid reason, I actually feel genuinely like physically nervous to complete a completely arbitrary game that we just made up the rules for. I also feel really nervous. I am, I don't know why. Which is stupid. <laughs> Yeah. Why, why would we feel nervous? This I feel so much anxiety in my stomach just about making it. Uh, making it back and making it back on time is super nerve-wracking. Yeah. Well, the thing is beeping. That's great. That indicates that it's... The game is back on. The first thing we need to do is book our flight to Australia. Then we also need to book our onward flight from Australia, so we're booking a flight to Fiji because it's not that expensive. We also have a ton of like administrative stuff we have to do. We have to get our Australia e-visas approved. We have to get travel insurance for Fiji. Um, and then once we get to Australia, we have to have COVID tests ready to take. Before we leave here, we have, what, like four hours until the flight we're planning on taking to Australia. Yeah. So we are going to do another challenge. We are going to eat at a Michelin-starred restaurant. It's a very pleasant challenge. Um, Doesn't get us a lot of money, it but does. we want to do it, and yeah. so we're going to do it. Oh, 
Oh, it's three. Oh, it's three. All right, forget my strat time. Strat time. Okay. Strat time. I think we need to consider what Ben and Adam are doing. I am now even more confident that Ben and Adam are here in Singapore because I looked at the time that they sent the message yeah. saying that they completed bungee jumping. Yeah. It was 1.30 p.m. Singapore time, which seems strange because the flight that we thought they were on arrived from Milan at like 7 or 8 a.m. But the bungee jumping place here, the only bungee jumping place in Singapore, opens at 12.30 p.m. <laughs> I'm <laughs> super man. sure they're here, which means yeah. they're very far along. And unfortunately, I did the back with the napkin math, and I believe that they have around $2,000. <laughs> in the bank right now. That's so much more than us. That is so- Because we're broke. We have like 25 bucks or something. <laughs> so we either have to find one that we can get a reservation at, or we have yeah. to find a place that's more casual. Yeah. Oh, look, oh, look, oh, look. There's one that says street food. Street food, what's that? It is open. Okay, that's good. Okay, it's like two miles away. We're going to Hill Street Taihua Pork Noodle, which has one- We gotta go! Stop star. explaining things, we're going! And so, so how screwed are we right now? A, a little bit. So <laughs> I think we need to be looking for the Hail Mary option. Let me explain why we're in such a pickle. Right now, we've basically got three options. One, we take our already booked flight to Seoul. Problem is, it gets us out of Singapore quite late, and after looking closely, the connections to the US are at bad times and have gotten even more expensive. I'm pretty sure if we do this, we'll lose. Two, we go somewhere nearby that's not Seoul. The two flights to the US are Tokyo and Sydney. Trouble is, by the time we'd earn the money to get an expensive flight to Sydney, it would be late and we'd definitely be behind, and Tokyo is only open for transit, so we couldn't leave the airport to do challenges. Either way, I'm pretty sure we lose. Which leaves option three, go big. Risk everything to get an extremely expensive direct flight from Singapore to San Francisco. It would mean we'd almost definitely win, but the only way to afford that flight is, well, you'll see. I believe the Hail Mary option is to make some money, bring it to the casino, and gamble it. <laughs> Did a bunch of research, but unfortunately, I learned more about the challenges we cannot do um, than the challenges we can do. Well, to start with, we can't do the roller coaster one. It's Universal Studios um, Singapore, but it's sold out. Paintball, um, there's only like one or two places and they both require super advanced booking. So uh, there's the Eat a Meal to Michelin Star restaurant. Singapore is famous for having yeah. like hawker stands, like street, street stalls that yeah. are Michelin Star. And on, just by chance, when Joseph and I were on a walk earlier, we stumbled across a pond of fish. Yeah. That, like tons of tiny fish that we could very easily catch. There's that challenge to catch a fish, catch a fish. Yeah. and I'm sure they actually know specifically says that we can catch it by hand. Yeah, we can. Okay, this is the bus we need to get on. But so the bus stop is down there, so we're gonna race it down this street. To see if we're gonna... Oh, okay. Okay, so let's find a Michelin star hawker stand, head there. And then if that goes super quick, I think we could still have time to go catch the fish. If we can get just enough, if we can win just enough to get that so flight. Yes, yeah, so we should calculate our bets to get exactly what we need. But if we win. But if we win, it's so epic. We'll win that's the, all of I know, this. that's the most incredible story. And Ben and Adam will be so pissed. They would hate that if, if we, we went went on gambling. <laughs> right, speaking of Yola strategy, we gotta go. All right, it's 310. All right, let's go. You might notice that this is not, in fact, a Michelin star restaurant. And that's yeah, because yeah. on the ride, we noticed that we messed up a bit. The Catch a Fish Challenge is actually worth $800. Which was a lot more than we thought it was right. initially. We and we think we can do that super quickly, so we got to do that first. I figure that we can turn this into a net just by poking a few holes in it. Just tiny, 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 a little bit of pressure. It's a big one. I know. All right, that is kind of big, unfortunately. Oh, damn it. Here, first of all, we need to not get caught, because I know. This what, what if we went on the far side? This seems highly illegal. Okay, there's no security cameras around, right? Oh, uh, except for that one right there. All right, as we've been walking, I have booked our flight to Australia. We're going to explain why we're going to Australia once we get our food. Oh, this is... Not that bad of a line at all. About to just get destroyed by this thunderstorm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I feel like they can swim here, but the turtles are coming. Oh no! I thought my foot all hit it. My foot is so soggy. This thing is much harder than we thought. These fish are too smart. They're like the pigeons you were right on. I hate when the challenges are challenging. I know. <laughs> they, they say there's plenty of fish in the sea. Well, this is a uh, this is not a sea, Sam. Okay, here's what we'll do. I'll stand in that one spot with the bag, 
sitting very still, you grab some small rocks to scare the fish, okay? okay. That's my feeling. Oh, someone's coming. Okay, so we just found out that, that place is cash only. So I am running to the nearest ATM to try and get cash in time. We wandered off for a second and that family picked up our bag. Yeah, they came back and picked our bag up. They must have thought it was litter. Yeah. Which like props to them. <laughs> so now we don't now we're bagless, because I think that guy's just throwing the bag away. You think we should give up? Yeah, I think you're almost an hour. Yeah, and that family is still there. We should probably just go and try and do the Michelin star restaurant in the Crickets. Worry about the Michelin star taking a while. Yeah, uh, but I mean, what other choices do we have at this point? Hello to the audience. We got two dishes. Um, give me your glasses. I can make what they're called. All right, one of the goats out today. That's this one. And this one is a like a ganma. So one thing that's interesting is this is one of only two restaurants in the entire world that has a Michelin star and sells like street food. I think the other one is in Hong Kong. And this is very good. Mm -hmm. Very well. So while we eat, let's explain why we're going to Australia. Yeah, so you might be wondering, why aren't we going to Japan? Why aren't we going to Seoul? If we went for Japan or Seoul, we would not meet the distance. We have to go through Australia to reach the distance, the, the Tropic of Cancer distance that we need to reach in order to officially circumnavigate. All right, we have finished our Michelin star meal and our uh, car is nearly here. Take us to the airport. It is also starting to rain. And it's just yeah, starting to rain. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, it's somewhere in here. Okay. I think we gotta look for the big line, probably. Yeah. It's on a bed. Yeah. Not bad. Just got word. They just ate in a Michelin star restaurant. And we were literally just in literally line. Literally in line. Are they here, you think? I don't know. I mean, this is like the classic Michelin hawker stall. Let's see if we I can mean, find yeah. them. Wow, you're really limping there, buddy. Boy, my feet are messed up. I don't see them, but oh, that is so frustrating. We are literally we just keep in. hitting L's. I know. We were like three spaces away from getting the mission server. And if we went here first instead of trying to catch the damn fish. I bet they didn't even need it. I bet they just like wanted some dinner. dinner. I like, cannot believe how many L's we're getting. Oh. I feel like we should just do something super easy, like get drunk and then just like YOLO our money. We can I know. break the money through tradition. <laughs> I, know, so I think honestly the best bet is to just get drunk on local liquor, have a good time at the casino. Be drunk and if we lose, at least we're drunk. At least we're drunk and then just YOLO it all at the casino, have a good time while we're doing it for two hours in the casino. I think that works. Okay, should we get a should we get a, a, a car to the, um, to the casino in the Marina Bay Sands? There's gotta be a bar in the Marina Bay Sands. Yeah. After a lot of bureaucratic red tape, we got our tickets and we are headed to Australia. For some reason, our gate always has to be the one that is like the furthest possible away. That's where they keep the good ones. That's where they keep the good ones, like Sydney. I'm gonna walk fast. We have maybe 30 minutes left to have any chance of catching that flight tonight. <laughs> and, and I have like a completely empty stomach. So and I think I, you said you did yeah, too. I haven't mean, eaten anything since our breakfast at like 8 a.m. This is not going to be very coherent. Okay, so we're going to be blasted drunk and then go to the casino with only $300. And we have to win two grand. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. A uh, very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Just to put you in the picture of what's happening with the aircraft, obviously you can see what's uh, possibly what's happening out there. The engineers are looking at the aircraft at the moment. The aircraft was struck by lightning when it came into Singapore. Some of you were on the aircraft and you probably experienced that down the left-hand side. 
There is superficial damage to the aircraft, unfortunately. They've done the inspections, but they have got quite considerable inspections to do. A lot of you have had very long days, and there's still a long night ahead of us. That is not good. But you know what is good? The fact that I've already planned out your entire night of entertainment. Of course, you're gonna start by watching the season finale of Jetlag. It all comes to an end, and you can watch that episode right now if you're a Nebula subscriber. That's, of course, to thank the fact that our Nebula subscribers are quite literally the ones funding the show. At 100%, this show would not be financially possible without them, but what I'd recommend watching after that is Modern Conflicts. It's another series on Nebula by Joseph, uh, Real Life Lore, my teammates. This series is about, uh, it's kind of profiling with these mini docs, all all sorts of modern conflicts, all sorts of conflicts that have happened in recent decades. I'd really recommend watching that. But the good news is that if you're not already a subscriber, it's uh, pretty easy to sign up and get access to every single episode of Jetlag one week early. The best way to get access to Nebula is not actually by signing up directly, it's through the bundle deal that they have with CuriosityStream. That's because it's actually cheaper than signing up directly. If you go to curiositystream.com slash jetlag, our link, at that link, uh, CuriosityStream is on sale for just $14.79 a year, and also if you sign by that link, they just throw the Nebula subscription for the entire coming year for free. It's included. And of course, what that also means is you get access to all of CuriosityStream, which is a whole nother streaming site with great stuff, you know, documentaries and non-fiction series. Uh, what I would recommend watching, you know, one of my favorite things on there, it's this documentary they have on Jimmy Donaldson, aka Mr. Beast. I'm sure you've seen Mr. Beast videos. It's, you know, kind of profiling how he became Mr. Beast, you know, the largest YouTuber on the planet. Fascinating story. So once again, if you go to curiositystream.com slash jetlag, you get access to the bundle deal for just $14.79 a year. You'll get every single episode of Jetlag one week early. You'll get all sorts of great additional content, and you'll be helping support us make this channel possible and loads of independent creators. So thank you in advance, and once again, curiositystream.com slash jetlag.